Molly. So no, what's up, y'all? It's uh the one and only. Damn. Y'all, as you know me, it's the Ram McQuan. But I changed my name recently to Mindscape, Skabloom, Splash, Splash, CFX, and stuff with CGI. Um, in this video, we be talking about a lot of stuff. I'm gonna be talking about the Stokely album because I didn't get to react to that. That hit me hard. I didn't know that he was dropping the album that soon when it came out. And then the Skins album, which I couldn't react to because I was really busy around the time. And when it came out, I was like, I'm not waiting. Fuck it. And I just like got right into it and I started listening to it. And then there's uh, then I'm gonna talk about my name change. And some other stuff. That's probably going to come up in my head. That's important. <clears throat> it's like whenever I do these videos, my voice gets very raspy. But, uh, anyway. Alright. I think I should talk about my name change first. So, there was once upon a time in my room. You know, I have roommates and stuff, a job core or whatever. And, my roommate rap. And his name... Is two L's, which if you put two L's together in a way like this, it looks like a W. And he has two L's in his name, which is Alexander, which makes sense. His name represents him because he's saying that he gets wins by losing or some shit like that. I can't remember, but it makes sense though. And when he asked me for what my name was, I told him it was just Quan. That was it. That was all to it. And he was like, "Oh, that's." He said, "Oh," and he was like, "You should probably think of something." That represents you. And I was like, oh, okay. So, like, the, a week later, which was... Because this happened two weeks ago. A week later, which was, uh, like, Monday or Tuesday, I was just listening to Kid Cudi and stuff. And I was thinking about stuff. And I was like... And it just popped in my head. Mindscape. I was like, Mindscape. Oh, shit. I thought of a new name for myself. So then, like, instantly, I went to my YouTube and I changed my name to Mindscape. Which is now my new, my, not Mr. Graham, but my new rap name and my new, well, should I say stage name, even though they, I'm not on stage yet. Hopefully, I'll get noticed soon. Um, maybe my new stage name or my YouTube name now from now on. I like the rap that on, though. Because, I mean, the reason why I like that one, though, because this channel was not supposed to be for music. It was originally supposed to be just for talking and stuff. Which made sense because it was my aim. And then Rambler, which is talking and stuff, whatever. But, um, I like this, though. Mindscape is really good. I was mad because when I looked up what my name would be, it was easy when I looked up the Rambler Quan because, like, there was only one thing like that. But I looked up Mindscape. It's like this one separate page that has, like, all this science stuff. And I love science. But I was mad. I was like, why the fuck is there someone else, like, my, like with the same name? I was mad. But anyway... Yeah, that's that's why that the the reason why that name means a lot to me now, even though it was thought like that, was because I like broadening my mind. I like reading people's minds, and I mean, not saying I can do it like tele telepathically, but like I like reading people. I like opening minds. I like look, opening my own. I like learning as much as possible. And most things that I rap about, if it's not like about hypeness, is mostly about deep stuff. Like I'm remixing Train Food as just. Speak. I already finished writing the lyrics. I was gonna keep performing it until I write it. I mean, until I record it, and it should be uploaded on my YouTube soon. But um, speaking of train food, I think we should probably get to the albums. Now I'm talking about Stokely first, since Stokely is is more hype. And plus, it came out first. So Stokely, as you guys know, Ski Mask's first name, low key. For some reason, I did. I never knew that. But um. Uh, it's it's I like I love the album. It's very different. I would say that it's, it's expected, but it's not because it's really different. It's like different from what we're used to. Like this man is hitting vocals in the song so high, and like Save Me Part Two, which I wonder is that say if that's supposed to be derived from Save Me from X from Seventeen. I don't know, and I will look that into that soon. I keep saying that, but I keep procrastinating about that too. Uh, also. They did like I think I mean I have a lot of songs I like on there because they all different. They remind me of his old songs, but also like it's like a new take on himself. And it's like I think my favorite songs on the album would have to be Nuketown would definitely be one of them. 
which you're probably what you're actually hearing in the back right now. Um, I was looking, I was trying to find like a Stokely and Skins like Mick mashup, but it was nowhere to be found. I couldn't find nothing like that. So anyway, uh, so I decided to just use this. But fuck it, hey. But um, I, I, I. but anyway, um, I love Newtown because it's lit. Like. It's what is it's what ski mask is plus more yelling, and then I did not expect Juice World to be like, like whoa, like it's not like Trippy Red Six Nine had a baby and just like, yeah, I don't like Six Nine. Don't don't get me wrong, but um, it's weird because like the song is so good, it makes sense because like I think it's the Big Ten is probably pretty much talk, like supposed to be compared to the New Town stages from the Black Ops franchise, I mean series, and. It makes sense. I like it. It's it's really hype. You'll say it. You'll say it. I feel like that was right where you said it. I feel like that was rock crusted my fist. Uh huh. I was like, what? The Infinity Stones. I get it. Like, I love, I love catching on to his skis or anybody else's, like, metaphors or something like that. It's, like, lit. Especially if it relates to something I like, like, some, like, anime or Marvel or some or something I like. But, like, he killed it. Like, I love, I love the, I love the, um, hook too. Just like, cut throw. Why not? I'm get so I'm like, I'm like, but uh, it's like it's like so lit. But like another song I love too is La La, which is probably the, which is the only song in the album that has a music video, which actually features X. He's still alive. So no, so no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for this if that offended anybody. But X was like personified, I guess, in the video. It was this guy that had dressed up and I guess in his like tight clothes. And the hair. Never got to see the guy's face like obviously, because if we did, we probably would have pissed. That's if it was CGI. They could have CGI the fuck. I mean, they made a hologram of the man. People animate stuff. Um. But yeah, that that video was really good, but also very unexpected. I don't think it was weird seeing Ski Mask like looking like a demon, because in Baby Wipe and some other stuff, it was like wild, but it wasn't like wild to the point where you look like a demon and stuff. But it's weird. And I don't know what kind of symbolism he was trying to give off, what kind of vibe he was trying to get off with X being in the video. Well, X personification in the video. I don't know. You know, I don't think he spoke on it yet, so we'll see into that. Uh but I love Lala too. Lala is really good. It's like around me I think I like Lala so much because his hook for Lala is like the beginning of Young Brett's. Cause his is like this ain't that bitch, that ain't this cure. And then, like, for young brands, it's like, try me, my fight, first for on sight, red. And it's like the same flow, pretty much. I like it. That's why I like that so much. I also love Adult Swim, which I don't know if it's a, derived from, like, the Adult Swim, the show, like, the, the, the network. But, like, it's really good. It's, it's really good. I love the um, beat. He's like, yup, yup, yup. My Paul Bunny Battle's life, like, mm -hmm. and it's like, it's like, Lit, bro. Like that album is lit. Like even the, the like the song, song stuff. And like you and I is really good too. I heard that before this album came out. You know he had a snippet of that, I believe. Just you and I, y'all. But like him saying on it was weird. Like on so hot, but it was like cool. Like it was so mellow. It was just like yeah. Like but it's, it's like lit. And he made a few. I think he made like a couple. Probably like very few. Like. Like tributes to X through putting him in the song, like um, I think it's like faucet faucet failure. I believe the song that that was a song, or foot fungus, where he was like um, he was like, I remember being X hitting legs. I was like, oh, that's nice. He put X into it. I was really hoping that X and him had like a song on there, low key. He just didn't want to say nothing about it since everybody else was, but unfortunately he doesn't. And on the members only, on the members only bad vibes forever, I believe. I mean, the members, I don't think he has a song with, I don't think there's no other songs with Ski on there. But, I don't think he even, him and Ski was working on anything. I would like to hit, like, a posthumous song with Ski. It's on it. Except for Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters was one. Ghostbusters was one. But, that wasn't in Stokely. But yeah, Stokely was really good. Stokely was really good. I liked it. It was, it was really lit. <clears throat> now, Skins. Skin, skin, skins. Skin, skin. So no, but anyway, Skins was really good. Like it opened 
my mind. Like, Stokely made me better as a rapper. Like, it changed my flow up. Like, I can't wait to write a hype song. Because I don't think any of y'all actually heard it unless y'all been on my SoundCloud, which is, I think it's trash. I, I don't like it. It's like, it's like me freestyling. And most of it's hype. Some some of it's I like is tolerable, but some of it's like trash. It's like looking back at my past self, like, what are you doing? What is that? And that was also around the time I wasn't writing stuff. I was just freestyling everything I did. But um, I'm thinking about deleting all my songs on there. But if you if you get a chance, just look up my name, Jaquan Carroll on SoundCloud, and you'll find it. You'll find my old songs. I don't think about deleting those. I wanted to make a whole account to be honest, but I can't because. All of my, I have hundreds of songs that saved from me making, from me saving music, whether it's X, Migos, or anything else. I have a bunch of songs now, and I feel like re liking that stuff. But, um, I can't make another account though because for some reason it won't let me log into my other Google accounts or whatever. It's kind of stupid. But anyway, Skip, Stokely was made me as a better rapper. Stokely made me a better rapper because my flow changed and everything from listening. Because I'm more of an influence. I'm more fluent, fluent with learning when it comes to the visual and hearing. Like, I don't really get into, like... Like, if I see it or hear it, I, it, like, goes in my brain really quickly. It's like, I'm like a fucking Pokédex. Like, I learned my stuff from looking and stuff. Like, it's like... I've been like this for years, whether it comes down to anything. But rapping is, like, one of them. Like... Like, on my random freestyle video, shit was trash compared to what I can do now on um, here. But I won't do it now, because, like, y'all didn't ask for that. Anyway, Skins, though, where Stokely opened, like, my rapping mind, Skins, like, opened, like, everything. Like, my pores from my skin. So, but it opened, like, my brain to, like... It helped me with my rapping, because it, because it helped me relate more to my life and how to put in rap scheme. But it's just like, it's like with 17 and what like some of the question mark album did where with my depression, it like did the opposite. It didn't open my depression, but it like, it could have, if I was still depressed, it could have, but it could have been like, it was like, I can't describe it. It was like just there, like his, but all of his songs was beautiful on there. Like that song, that's that. I ain't gonna lie, I was disappointed when I didn't see Yes Indeed on there. That's the main song I was looking forward to, was Yes Indeed, his remix. But apparently it's gonna be coming out in 2019 with his second part theme is and possibly final album, which would make sense. But the first song is, well, the introduction. I have never heard such an interesting introduction. It's different, like, it's weird. I wish I was at the Skins release party because I can just imagine hearing that throughout the speakers. Because, um... Reactor on Dante said that it was just quiet when he was there. But and just came on. It was crazy. I wish I was there for that. I really did. I really wish I was at the skin release party. But I can't, because I have stuff to do. Anyway, um and no way to get there. But the introduction is like really, really like I wouldn't even say weird. It's like it makes you think. It like it can, it like gets you ready. To listen, like, his past introductions for, like, 17 and the question mark album. This one, like, gets you ready in a different type of way. Like, I wonder if that's him. I don't know if that's him speaking in a robotic voice or not. But it's, like, weird. It's like he was ready. Then the first actual song is Guardian Angel. Which almost had me crying when I first heard it that morning. Because I remember I was in the cafeteria. I was like, oh, shit, Scans came out. And I looked on the... And then I listened to, I started listening to it. And I was like, oh, this is Jocelyn Flores backwards. Now, I know everybody had the same reaction. But I think I was one of the very few that had this in mind. When X died, there was, there was a lot of people like talking about the Jocelyn Flores backwards, saying there was messages in it. And remind you, that was made like in June or July. And... They didn't say anything about the skins release or anything like that. I don't even think they were talking about releasing skins at all at the time. And basically, they were, you know, there was the same things, you know, everybody knew about um, him. June, it, there was like a few of them that hit me hard was in the messages. It was like June 18th, um, six shots in my car. Uh, I think it was like my heart stopped or something like that. And then it was um, December 7th, which was the day that skins came out. 
But mind you, we don't know nothing about skins coming out at the time. So the fact that X was rapping over the beat of the beat that was reversed, that was basically telling him about his death, was creepy as fuck. I heard me almost done because how can you do that? Like, that means he knew that he was going to die that day. He knew that the skins were going to come out December 7th. I mean, not that. I mean, it's surprising, but, like, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's, like, how that works and how he did that. Like, I, I had to listen to that. I, I swear I couldn't get past that first song for a while. I, I kept repeating that song, like, eight times. And so I was finally able to get to the second song, which is one of my favorite on the track, which is Train Food. It's also a very creepy, very specific song. I, I It's very different. And for me, listening to it so many times and looking into the song, I have a better, I have a different view on it than I did the first time. Because the first time I thought it was just like him talking about death. But then like, I think in this one, he's talking about himself again. But more obviously than he did in the first one. Because in the first one, I mean, he wasn't talking about himself. He was talking about Jocelyn, I believe. But I think he was talking about his his self dying because one of his verses was I was dressed with winter, with winter weather but the summer race kept kissing me and it's weird because he was wearing a lot of winter weather like he had a little thing and stuff on all the time in the winter clothes you know, in the summertime and he died that day that was crazy and then one of the, I don't know if it, it's, if he was not just this is just an assumption where he was like well, he was like we actually we, we asked um how far you are from home? He said about 30 minutes. He could have been 30 minutes away from his house. That made me think about that too. And then when he was like, even though he said, I walk, I remember I was walking home that day. He wasn't walking. He was in his car, but he was alone. I remember I was walking home that day to pretend to all my misery. But see, he wasn't, I don't think, I don't know if he was mis like full of misery yet. Because around that time he was actually getting better was mine. In spirit, but like, I think all in all, John Cunningham, which I can't remember how they I think they, he helped with his works with his songs. I don't know if that's his manager or something like that. But basically saying that he was with him all the way through training food and that he wasn't talking about something that was true. Which I find very hard to believe because X could sound like it sounds a lot like how he died. Like it was crazy and like his thoughts. It was it was it was crazy. Like I love the song though, but and that's what makes me want to remix this song myself because it's a really good song. And, but when I do this, it's going to be more so to me. But it's going to be more so to me. But it's not going to be talking about what my view is on death and stuff. I mean, I'm going to give you a little sneak info that it's basically about me in some sort of way. Well, I'll be right back. I am back. But anyway, it was, it's not, it's about me in some, in of like the first couple of verses. But then, like, it, it, it slowly goes from me to, like, the world, my views on the world and stuff, and, like, how real it can be. Like, people always compare me to, compare me to X, and it's irritating because I love it. I mean, not saying it's the weird. No. I appreciate it, I should say. I honor it. But I don't like it because I don't want people thinking that I'm trying to be X. Whether it's from the way I rap, whether it's from what I talk about or anything. These are all my views, all my in my brain here, here. All here. All here, man. I've been like this since I was a kid. Way before X came out, I've been like this since like forever. I've been like this since I was a kid. I was always a big thinker. I always there to help people and I was always there to help like it was crazy. Like one guy, even though he was wrong, I guess he don't know what reincarnation means, but he said I was like the reincarnation of X. Which I don't, which doesn't make sense because reincarnation is when you your soul gets to, sent to a different body when it's born, but you're already dead, but you forget your past life. So, but it's like I don't like being called. I mean, I don't because I don't want people to think I'm trying to like get clout or trying to be like X or trying to come up being like X. I don't want to be like that. I want to be noticed for me, Jaquan Carroll, bro. Like, I want to be noticed for me, Mindscape. You know, I don't. I don't. I don't want to be known for a that guy is like X. Let me listen to him. I want him. I want people to be like, wow. I want to be. I want to like. What's going on? Like, what's what's up with him? What's him? What makes him different from the rest of the generation? You know, me X might have had the same goals. Me X might have had 
entirely different ones. But me and him act probably did act the same, which we do. I've seen his videos. And I would love to hang out with him. I would I would have loved to hang out with him when he was alive. But I don't want to be that's like I'm telling you guys, and I'm like I don't want and I'm telling like anybody else, I don't want to be seen as the person that looks or sound like X. Or trying to be like X. I wanna be me. I don't wanna be nobody else. I wanna be me. I wanna be different. You know? It's just coincidental and ironic that me and him just acting like. You know, everybody got their doppelgangers out there. Everybody got somebody to act like. But that doesn't mean that you're them, you know? But anyway, um the song after train food would be what would be would be whoa mind and all that song is so beautiful like and it's crazy because it's a fun fact did you know that um Maddox and Lil Uzi Vert was gonna use that beat but then the X ended up getting hold of it it's just crazy but I'm pretty sure X would have killed that beat. I mean not X um Lil Uzi Vert would have killed that beat I'm a big Lil Uzi Vert fan too but it's like so good and I was like whoa Ooh. It's like so melodic, melodic. I still know how to fuck to say that word. Anyway, it's like so good, and it's like when he's even though he's not speaking about much, it's like so good. It's like and the flows and the how it sounded, like oh my god. Like that when I came out and that night I came home. That's the only song that was really on my mind besides Guardian Angel. Shit was crazy. Like it's really good. I really can't say say much about the song. It's like really good. It's really good. Song after that is Staring at the Sky. I love that song so much. It is so lit. And it's like me because I love like songs where you sing, but I also like lo-fi type songs. And the way how it was, it was just so simple, but like it reminded me of um It reminded me of two songs. Uh Pain Equals Best Friend, I think that's the one. Where he like sings and then he like gets into hardcore rock and then it just ends with the drums. But then there's and then there's Looking for a Star. If you guys remember Looking for a Star, that was the second song, no third song of Revenge. And and like he was like, Where did you go? It's like it's like really good. It was like looking for a star, staring at the sky. It's like crazy. If I was able to make animations, I would like make something connected to that video. Let me tell you a song, but it's like so good. Like, I was staring at the sky, singing toxic lullabies. I was staring at the sky. It's like so good. And he's like, right from the pain. It's like, the, and I swear when I heard it, the first time, I didn't know what the fuck he was saying at first with the loudness, but I was just like, I was like, oh my God. Because that song reminded me of the whole, like, vibe of the question mark album it was so good and then like it was short it was it was good next is bad which we all know i love that song my ringtone on my phone if it went off right now y'all be able to hear it but i got it on mute but um i still love bad bad is still really good this is it's really good speaking of which as you guys know the winner of the bad contest and made a future video not a couple, like a couple days ago and it was really good and showed a lot of symbolism in it from a person that isn't really I wanna say not relevant but not known like isn't in the industry but like it's so good like I, I actually probably gonna watch it again after this video ends but hmm, that music video was really good but I really hope the rest of the people that made that went into the contest will finish the videos they made. I don't want them just being like, oh man, I guess it gotta stop now. No, I want y'all to like finish it the way y'all viewed the bad video. Like, that doesn't mean that they're gonna cut y'all off. There's a lot of people that make AMVs and stuff and don't get, get blocked or something like that because of copyright infringement or something like that. Y'all can keep going. I wanna see y'all views on how the video would have been. Cause there was a lot of people, there was a lot of good stuff in there. A lot of good stuff. And I really wanna see how the, those people would have did the whole video. But, um, but yeah, Bad. Bad was a really good song. Next is One Minute. One Minute was really good, too. That that song gets me probably the hypest. Not just because of X-Bar, but just the way the song comes in before. I call yourself right, it's just like, din, 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 din. It's like, wow. 
It's crazy. I heard the snippet of many times before. Like, so I knew what to expect. But it was just like, now that it wasn't like just a snippet where the audio was bad, the audio quality is like, eh, like how you sound here. Like, I don't got a good back if I'm doing this from my phone. But it was like pure. I was like, oh shit. Damn, this is in my ears right now. <laughs> and then, like, especially from a, especially since from all the sad songs that came on and stuff. And then, like, what, like Kanye was talking about some real good stuff, bro. I like the fact that Kanye was on there because X always wanted to do a song with Kanye. And like X, I mean Kanye really did look out for X too with his little. Hey, when I'm going to X, hold the gate. Like yeah, it's X I, Kanye killed his verse, and I wish X had a verse on there too. But he had a little interlude. Like ah, 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 ah. I don't even. I, don't, I still know the words to that part. And then his hook was like crazy good, but the song after that is I don't let go, which is probably the only song on there where he's actually rapping like his old self. He like she wanna give the meat. Oh, I for the other one, the meat. Oh, I. It's like, uh, yeah. But it's like so short. Like his verses are so short. Like it's like sometimes I don't let go. I shine, I'm shining, I'm shining. There's like a little bit of the verse. Like she wanna, yeah, I'm on your daddy mind. And it's like it just ends. Like just like a little bit of that. And then it ends to go to the hook. Then it's just like yeah, you get small like a ball. And it just ends and it's like the hook. And it's like what? What is this? Like, actually, could have done some longer verses, but it's perfect. I love it as it is. It's really good. But I think that song has a lot of meaning in it that we're like probably overlooking because it's called "I Don't Let Go." But it's like I don't think he's actually. I don't. I don't get what he's actually letting not letting go of yet. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta keep listening to that song. But then there's the most beautiful song at the end. <sighs> what are you so afraid of? I wish I wanted I wanted that to be the background music of my video to be honest, but couldn't find one that was worth that was long enough, and it's so beautiful. Like I, when I heard, actually I skipped the song. Hold on, before I get to that, there's difference. The interlude, like baby, I just wanna show you things. Like that song is really good too. That remind me of um, Ooh, I love you so. Take no chances, fuck the nigga. Uh, like, that's that that's and that song was like the most beautiful song to me on the question mark album. I don't know, they had a lot of good beautiful songs on there. Like Hope, Hope was one of my, one of them too. And I think I might end up listening to that album again. But I really can't listen to the old albums without thinking about Skins, cause like when Skins before Skins came out, it was like we only have these, so we have to do the Cherish X. But then like now we have Skins. It's like. But anyway, Difference was really good. And I think that was dedicated to his supposed, I mean, to his future. Well, I wouldn't say to his future wife. I don't know what word I should use, but to his wife-to-be, which could have been Genesis. But um, I think she, he also references her existence in um, I Don't Let Go. It was like, I want to be in your thotty mind, but I don't want to be because I got a wife. It's like, oh, man, you already like this guy. I mean, like this girl. And he also brushed with her in Whoa. He was like, he was like, um, I told my love I'm going, and I was like, and he doesn't say what he was going to say, but it's really good. But anyway, back to what do, what are you so afraid of? That song reminded me of the last song of Before I Close My Eyes. Because Before I Close My Eyes meant a lot to me out of every song he ever made because this song seemed like he knew he was going to die. Like, yo, this is by far the longest video I ever made. 20 minutes. But, he like he is like he knew he was gonna die. It was like before let me down to sleep. I on myself to keep. Hope it's not too late for me. Whoa. It's like really good. It's like the good way to end an album. And then like what are you so afraid of is like part two of that. Like it's like it's like he's speaking. It's like when you hear it. It's like especially in the nighttime when you hear it. It's like he's speaking to you while he's dead. Like, as long as you listen to that song, you can always speak to, back to him, which is, like, keep your thoughts. It's like, what are you so afraid of? Is it not wasting your time? And then it's like, and he's just like, oh, ooh, ooh. like, the guitar, the vocals was so good, and just had takes so long to distance out. 
was like, wow, bro, like this song. And then like the album, I remember the album just ended. I was just like, what? What's this? And I was like, oh, I don't even, I didn't even know what to do after I heard that song. I didn't know if I wanted to listen to more X songs or just listen to random music or listen to music at all. I don't even remember what I did. I don't even remember what I did after that. I think I just like stopped listening to music. That song like crushed my heart. Like it was like, damn, bro, he's actually dead. Then I was still mad too that that, that Yes and B wasn't on it, but I found out like a couple days later that it's gonna be on his Bad Vibes Forever album, which probably gonna have a lot of like hype songs on there. I think because I think Skins is supposed to focus more on your, on the sentimental part. I really hope he finished Yes and B because that that's a really good song. But that's my review on Stokely and Skins. Stokely was awesome, lit. Skins was sad and in his own way lit. But yet it's so short. Like, damn, I couldn't have been longer. But I mean, hey, we only get what we ask for, you know? We only get what we can get. But um, I think that's all I want to talk about. I spoke on my name, I spoke on the albums, I spoke on bad, the views of video. Oh, my elbow. But. Um, I think that's it. I'm gonna talk about one more thing. I only have 36 subscribers, and I thank you all that's subscribing to me. As actually, and to the very, very little few that's actually looking at me. But I really need. I mean, I want to make it at least to 100. You know, I want to be noticed for me. I want to be noticed for my music. I want to be noticed for me talking, what I talk about. You guys really um, mean a lot to me, just as any other person in this world, bro. Like it's like. I have a general love and caring to everyone. I don't be fake. I'm not one of those people that just going for the clout. I mean, but if it's there, hey, give me that clout, boy. But it's like, I really want to be known. Not like how most of these rappers, like Lil, I'm like Lil Baby with 6 9 and that. That's being like hype beats. I'm like, want to be known because of my brain. I want to be known because... Like, this world means a lot to me. And it seemed like just going down a hill. And I don't know why. People focus more on negativity than for positivity. I'm really trying to spread that in a good way, you know? I'm trying to finish. Because first, my goal was to finish what X started. But I don't want to do that no more. I want to do it my own way. And, I'm of course, I'm still honoring X. And I'm not disrespecting him by saying I don't want to. But I think I actually would be disrespecting him if I'm saying I want to be like him. I want to be me. And I really want, I really want to be like up there, you know? I want to be to the point, I want to be the type of musical artist that's actually replying to people's DMs. I want to be the type that's actually commenting back to your to your posts. I want to be the type that's like just casually scrolling to y'all, to y'all people's and like y'all know me like, oh my God, he just replied to my thing or oh my God, he just liked my post. Like, I don't want to be one of those rare artists that like, Got everything he wants and don't care about whatever. There's only like one artist that I've seen so far that actually, that to this day, that's actually flying back, I mean, as much as he can, I guess, to people's, um, I don't know if DMs, but to comments and stuff, and that's Ski Mask. I've seen it. And, and X's mother. I can't remember if X did or not. I'm pretty sure he did, knowing him. But for those that are subscribed, Thank you. And please, try to get me the one, zero, zero, guys. Please. Oh, please. Like, try to give me attention, bro. Like, just spread me across YouTube. Spam my name in YouTube, like, like, YouTube, like, comments. Like, spread my name through Instagram, Facebook, even MySpace. Any way you can. I don't even care. Like, just do it, man. Just make it happen. Like, I really want to, like, just... Be there for you guys. And, like, I really want to, like, this is not, I'm not trying to be selfish. I'm not trying to make it sound like that I, I'm just trying to use y'all. I want to actually make this happen. I want to try to change the world musically, like how X did and, like, how Ski is doing. I'm pretty sure Ski is doing it in his own way, but he always says it. But I hope this message get out to, to all y'all, and I really hope they all really care about what I got to say. And for little people that's actually looking, I thank you. And, for, and stuff. And I really want you to, like, spread me out there. I really try to make it, bro. Now, there's one favor, specific favor I'm asking you guys. 
There is one account I love looking at. Reaction wise, reaction accounts, and that is I'm Dante, bro. Look up I'm Dante. If you already hit to I'm Dante, go on his account, email this man, spam my name, please, so he can react to my videos, or if not react, at least try to email me or make songs with me, bro. Cause I'm trying to like make moves, musically and like just to be noticed. I really hope that I would end up making it one day, bro. I don't want to like leave this earth without leaving a mark on it. You know, I'm only 17. I'm trying to do this early, but I already noticed my potential. Anyway, if you like this video, like it, bro. Don't leave no dislike. I have this one hater that won't dislike my video for carry on. That was a good song. I liked it. I worked hard. Anyway, don't dislike. You know, like the button. While I dislike it, there's a like button right there. Uh, comment what you what you love to comment on. You know, what you got to talk about the video, whatever, and. <clears throat> subscribe, share, bro, share my channel. Anyway, without further ado, I'll see you guys later. Love you all. Good night or good morning, depending on what time it is. Uh -huh.